What's up everybody, Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. Happy New Year to everybody, and I hope you guys had a good holiday. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my very first beat, and then after that, I'm gonna show you how I reflipped the same sample and made a different beat. And there's a very, very, very special story that I wanna tell you guys, but I'm gonna wait till the end. So if you'd like to listen to the story, please stick around until the end, or if you're one of those people that just like to skip around to the parts that you wanna watch, you can watch uh, the story right here. So this beat was made back in 2011, um, and I used the very first machine that Native Instruments released. And um, yeah, let's jump into it. And that was my very first beat. I was super hyped uh, when I made that beat. I made it at my cousin Jeremy's house and I remember leading up to that beat, I made at least like 10 to like 12 beats or at least tried to um, and I had the hardest time making it. Um, so yesterday I decided to reflip the same sample to see if I got any better with making beats. So I um, time warped the sample in Ableton Pitched it up, five semitones. Built this drum pattern. Consolidated the sample, sliced it to MIDI, EQ'd it, added some reverb, added some delay. Then I played these sample chops. And that's the entire beat. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you'd like to listen to the full beat, I will play it at the end of this video along with my screen so you guys can see what my project file looks like. And that's gonna conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Sammy Guns, High Low, Roman, K Bed, Franco Steiner, Gucci Prada, The Vico Tube, Stefan or Steven, Midnight Flash, and Rain Wolf for these comments. Also, shout out to Beat Snacks, Burgatti, Charlie P, Liam Funk and Ryan Dang for using the hashtag ChrisPunselon365. Now the story that I wanted to tell you guys was, so back in 20,000, 20,000, <laughs> oh shit. Back in 2011, I went to Guitar Center, bought a machine, came back and tried to figure it out. Couldn't figure it out. I gave up after I think a day, went back to Guitar Center, tried to return it and the guy said I couldn't return it because I already registered the product. So I went back home and I was just like, I was staring at the machine and I was like, 
well, since I can't return it, I might as well try to learn it. Um, so I went on YouTube and looked up some tutorials and I spent hours trying to find the right tutorial or tutorials that made sense to me. And I found this dude named AG. Um, back then he went by AG Got Beats and he had this sampling tutorial that changed my life. He showed how to flip a sample and he flipped an Al Green sample. And I just remember uh, like, a few of the things that he said clicked in my head and I was like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. And then the first beat that I made after um, watching that video was the beat that I played for you guys today. Um, to show how things come back full circle, uh, a few days ago, AG, who runs Machine Masters, um, reaches out and says that he likes what I'm doing and he would love to distribute one of my sample packs and he would love if uh, I could make a video for the channel. And I was like, I was, I, so why am I telling you this story? Well, um, AG asked me to make a video for him and uh, the video that I made for him just went live yesterday. Um, it's a video that I made for Quavo and Travis Scott's Huncho Jack, Jack Huncho. Um, so it would mean the world to me if you guys could click the link in the description, go to the video, watch it, like it, and leave a comment. Um, let them know that you came from my channel and it would mean so much to me if you could do that for me um, because I just wanna show AG how strong my audience is and I know that you guys show so much love and support to me. So it would mean the world to me if you could just click the link in the description, go to the video, um, even if you don't watch the video and you just leave a comment, that is enough for me and um, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you for paying attention. Please pay your producers and I'll see everybody in the next video.